Live from Vancouver, Canada, it's theCUBE. Covering OpenStack Summit North America 2018. Brought to you by Red Hat, the OpenStack Foundation, and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back, I'm Stu Miniman, here with theCUBE's coverage of OpenStack Summit 2018 in Vancouver. My co-host is John Troyer. Happy to welcome to the program, we have Bernard Devram, who is the Senior Director of Product Marketing of Platform at Red Hat, and we thrilled to have a customer on, uh, Nico Wellner, who's a Unix Systems Engineer with Finance Informatic out of Germany. Thank you both so much for joining. All right, Bernal, let's start with you. Just uh, give your first time on the program, I believe. So a little bit about your background. Uh, you've been with Red Hat less than a year, so tell us, tell us yeah. your role there. Yeah, I've been at Red Hat for about nine, 10 months now. I'm very, very excited to be here in the open source community development model. Um, it's a very unique opportunity as I've been leading the platforms uh, marketing, which includes Red Hat Enterprise Linux, as well as Red Hat Virtualization, and Red Hat OpenStack Platform, of course, is why we are here in the OpenStack Summit. All right. Great, yeah, yeah we, we got RHEL and RHV and uh, RHOSP yeah. and uh, lots about. of other LMNOPs. So, uh, Nico, <laughs> um, give us a little bit about your background, T tell us about your organization, and then let's get into the kind of mini case study we'll do with you. Yeah. It's uh, an honor for me to be here. Thank you very much for this, and uh, I'm working for Finance Informatic, as you said, and it's um, part of the centralized IT service provider in the S Finance Group in Germany. Uh, for the savings bank and state banks. Um, overall, we serve um, about 400 um, institutes, savings banks, individual savings banks, and uh, we, on our systems, we are operating uh, more than 120 million accounts, bank accounts, and uh, nearly the half of them online, on our online accounts. Um, and we also, develop then, uh, the software for our savings banks, for our customers, not savings banks only, uh, also assurances, and uh, state banks. And, right. and we operate uh, the, the, de um, the applications uh, we developed previously also. So it's a huge and amazing company with a lot of uh, different tools uh, and systems. Well, we're really glad you could make it here with GDPR banging down the door <laughs> and in just a couple of days. We expect uh, everybody in Europe to have been pretty busy getting ready for that. Tell us your role inside uh, the, the organization. What, what's your team do? Your, your title has Unix in it, so what's, mm -hmm. what's that entail and uh, uh, kind of give us kind of the scope of uh, what, what you cover. Yes, I'm a systems engineer, as I said, and uh, I'm working in the department and we are integrating and operating the Unix uh, systems, which are ARX, uh, we have a huge ARX environment and a huge Linux environment in uh, our data centers. And uh, in, on, on these uh, Linux uh, systems, we, are, um, we started with OpenStack in uh, two, uh, 2014, mm -hmm. uh, with testing and uh, went into, into production uh, in 2015, mm -hmm. half a year later. Um, and we integrated this OpenStack, we uh, operate it and uh, serve it uh, for, for our customers internally and on the OpenStack platform, uh, we host uh, we have we host one of our core application. It's the internet uh, banking for our customers. As I said, for about 50 million accounts, and uh, we have multiple OpenStack clouds. And uh, my department is responsible for the clouds and uh, for operating them well. Yeah, Nico, I wonder if I step back for a second okay. and what led to you going down this path? Uh, was, was the company figuring out its cloud strategy? Um, obviously, you know, financial institutions, we understand there's governance, compliance, security is a, is, is a huge concern. What, 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 is, what does cloud mean to your team? What led you to uh, OpenStack? Let, let's start with kind of that problem statement that you had. Yeah, this was the, the main reason uh, we introduced uh, OpenStack was uh, the time to market with uh, our applications and with our environment. And the deployment process uh, took a long time normally in the legacy environment. And uh, with OpenStack, uh, we could dramatically uh, increase the, um, uh, the 
the time to uh, deploy the systems and um, from, from uh, days or weeks uh, to, to minutes. Um, so we solved one huge uh, problem with, with OpenStack. And uh, what was another reason is uh, vendor login. We want to avoid a vendor login. And so we uh, decided for OpenStack because it's a, a huge uh, open source software, um, great community, and uh, very stable in, uh, in our case. And um, so it's OpenStack for us. All right, so Berna, I've actually I've had the opportunity to interview quite a few Red Hat customers. I remember three years ago, we were actually in the other hallway here talking to FICO uh, about their rollout <laughs> uh, of mm -hmm. Red Hat OpenStack. And I, I hear some similar themes, but you know, you, you, you've got access to way more customers than I do. What, what are you hearing from customers in general? Is this kind of the typical, is, is speed and agility yes. at the top of the list uh, when it comes to their, their kind of cloud uh, environment? Exactly, Stu. Just like Nico said, actually, we our customers tell us all the time that it is about speed and agility, but it's also about uh, the, the different types of use cases and the workloads that they're actually uh, looking at in their environments. Um, very popular ones, the use cases are, for example, scale out IaaS, as well as dev test environments for the cloud native applications, for example. Also, we do see that big data analytics, um, NFV also. So there are many, many different types of use cases we see from our customers. Uh, we also have uh, been hearing that they are actually using OpenShift on top of the Red Hat OpenStack platform. Uh, majority of them are either deploying it or planning to deploy containers. So we do see a lot of different, um, but similar uh, aspects as well. Yeah. Nico, are, are, have you started to go down that path with uh, containers, no. Kubernetes, all, all of that stuff yet, or? Um, not so far. Okay. Uh, we, are, we plan to do so. Um, uh, in general, we lay with containers. We are planning to, but uh, and we, we already started the process, uh, but it, it would, would take uh, a little bit. Um, and I think it's, we, we're not sure if start with OpenStack, containers on OpenStack or plain, but I think uh, with OpenStack uh, could be a great way to do so. And because one of the reasons is uh, that our OpenStack environment is very reliable, and this, this is important for us, uh, very important for us and our customers. And uh, over the years, um, as I said, since 2015, we had no outage uh, due to OpenStack in the whole environment, and it's great, great for us. That's that's great. I, I'm kind of you're, so. Where are you now in your in your Red Hat OpenStack uh, deployment? You're you're preparing. You're 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 preparing to go uh, into production with you have OpenStack in production, and now uh, you're already a Red Hat customer mm -hmm. in other products, and you're you're now uh, going out with this uh, with Red Hat OpenStack platform. Is yeah. that correct? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, one of the conversations around OpenStack is mm -hmm. the is the the, the component nature of it, and that many OpenStack uh, deployments are different. And so as you're now getting deploying Red Hat, and you were, we're already on OpenStack, are the, are the skills transferable? Do you find that the processes are transferable? Or do you feel like this was a good investment, you know, no uptime for, 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 four, for three years now, and you're, now you're moving to this new platform? Do you, do you and your team feel like you're able to uh, properly uh, uh, instrument and, and maintain and operate it? I think it's uh, the best platform for us for infrastructure management in the uh, Linux environment, mm -hmm. and um, we we want to in evolve it uh, furthermore. And, and the uh, skills will transfer. The skills you've known skills. for years still will, will still transfer to the new yes, OpenStack. Yes, we have, we have uh, only a few people working actively on the uh, on the design and the architecture and operating uh, for the uh, for OpenStack, and it uh, turned out that we. Um, we could uh, do fine with them, and um, we have uh, now we have huge experience with OpenStack. Uh, feel comfortable with it, and uh, we, are, we are planning uh, to uh, to increase the, uh, the all the OpenStack environment slightly, I think. Uh, but the scale out works uh, great for us, uh, and the OpenStack itself. Uh, in our case, we um, we could very flexible to uh, systems releases, and so on is uh, one important thing for us. And uh, so I think the OpenStack itself um, is the best platform for, for us and our application to host. That's, that's great. Hey, so, well, 
Berna, I was, uh, I was at Red Hat Summit, and the interesting thing there for me was the, the portfolio, the breadth of portfolio, right? Mm -hmm. One of the messages was, was clear, you know, you've always depended on, on Red Hat li Enterprise Linux, and that's still there, and containers are Linux, and you know, there was a lot of uh, multi-cloud talk and things like that, and OpenStack was, was part of the mix. So can you talk a little bit about OpenStack as part of the yeah. Red Hat portfolio and what y'all are bringing to the table and how you're thinking of, of you know, OpenShift on OpenStack and that sort of thing? Yeah, exactly. As you pointed out, right, yeah, Red Hat is all about the open hybrid cloud. And within that, Red Hat OpenStack platform plays a big, big role, of course, as you can imagine. And what we are trying to do with the OpenStack platform is to help our customers like Nico get, it, get towards the digital transformation and with that comes again the need for speed and agility. And what we are enabling with OpenStack platform is the, as we would like to call it, powering the digital transformation through enabling our customers to accelerate their you know, businesses by simplifying their applications and delivery as well as the services delivery, which then of course moves towards innovation, um, fast innovation at the speed of the business. At the same time, um, we are trying to enable IT teams to be empowered so that they can actually do the innovation at their, uh, at their own pace without worry with all of the Red Hat portfolio, as you pointed out. Yeah. Nico, would love to hear your, ta your take on digital transformation. Uh, you know, I think back five years ago we were talking about financial institutions, oh, well we needed to be, go mobile. Mm -hmm. Well, it's much more than that for most companies that I talk to. Yeah. Do you consider digital transformation in your company? What, how does that relate to what IT does, to what the business does, to what your users need? It's one of our uh, core, uh, core tasks in our company uh, to, to help our customers for, to, uh, for digital transformation and uh, Finance Informatic itself sees uh, itself to be the best uh, partner for our customers uh, to do this transformation. And uh, with, with leading technologies like OpenStack and in a uh, special case with Red Hat uh, OpenStack, yeah. of course, um, which is a product uh, which um, enables us to be flexible, uh, secure, and uh, fast uh, with our environment and uh, to drive the, this process of uh, digital transformation in, uh, in the S uh, finance group, the savings finance group. All right, so you've been at this for three or four years now with, with OpenStack. You look back, I, I'd love to get what, what learnings you've had mm -hmm. for peers of yours that you know, might be earlier in their journey. What have you learned? What might, advice might you give them? Uh, uh, and let, 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 let's start there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, overall, I would say the OpenStack environment is very reliable. Um, more reliable as I, uh, as I thought <laughs> at the beginning, but it's, uh, took, it turned out that it's really good. And um, yes, if, from the automation perspective, it's a, a really nice, let's say, tool <laughs> to, uh, for, for our environment and uh, what, what I'm, uh, I found OpenStack is a great, um, a great project uh, with a lot of software components you can combine, and uh, we have a flexible yeah. platform. We can uh, we can um, add some components we do not have today, but uh, are part of OpenStack community or OpenStack project at all, and uh, to enable. Uh, Additional functionalities to uh, to the environment, uh, let's say for for containers or for uh, block um, object storage, sorry, um, and something like that, and uh, new services uh, for our customers to, uh, yeah, to to decrease the time to market. Okay. One of the things that this show we're seeing is looking uh, beyond uh, where, where, we, where we've been. I think the keynote this where people are asking to do more mm -hmm. and in more places everything from you know, containers and edge and you know, serverless and, uh, and the like. So what's interesting you these days as you look down the road, different technologies that are in, in your roadmap in the future, kind of inside or outside you know, OpenStack? Um, for, our, for our company, um, we are in the process to, yeah, to, to integrate uh, new needs for our customers, uh, and we, um, we are planning to do, or we will do a lot of big data, and uh, maybe OpenStack could be uh, also the right platform for it, and uh, for the future, 
for the future, uh, we are planning. So uh, we are still on planning. Um, I think uh, we will be. It will be much more diverse in future um, because one, right now we do have one application running on it, uh, one core application. It's a core application very important yeah. for us. Uh, but we, will, I think we will. Uh, Maybe we will spread it, uh, enable it uh, for other applications um, because of the uh, great experience we've ha made with it. All right, well, Nico and Berna, thank you so much for giving us the updates on, on where you stand with, with OpenStack and, and all of your deployment. We'll be back here with lots more coverage here at OpenStack Summit 2018 in Vancouver. For John Troyer, I'm Stu Miniman. Thanks for watching theCUBE.